The world of coding just changed forever. Not exactly how you think though. It's called the Devon AI and it was released by Cognition Labs, who's calling it the world's first AI software engineer. But how capable is it actually? And should you actually be concerned that this is gonna take your job? First Copilot, then ChatGPT, now Devon? It really doesn't seem to be getting easier for software engineers. Wasn't this the one career path everyone was told to get into because it'll be the most valuable skill to have in the future? Learning how to code is legitimately a modern day superpower. Yeah. I guess AI has something to say about that. So much for that four-year degree and years of coding experience. Let me just ask Devon AI to do everything a human software engineer can do. Oh wait, can Devon AI actually do that? Or is this just another case of overhyped AI buzz? Scott Wu, CEO and human software engineer, kind of odd that they had to clarify that, yes, we can clearly tell he's a human, decided that he'd create an AI to replace his work. Kind of genius, if you ask me. Devin has access to all the same developer tools that software engineers have and can plan and execute complex engineering tasks requiring thousands of decisions. Devin can recall relevant contacts at every step, learn over time, and fix mistakes. It's equipped with a shell, code editor, and browser within a sandbox compute environment, everything a human would need to do their work. And it can actively collaborate with the user. Devin reports on its progress in real time, accepts feedback, and works together with you through design choices as needed. For example, Devin can autonomously learn from a blog post. After reading a blog post, Devin runs ControlNet on modal to produce images with concealed messages for this user. Devin has built and deployed apps end-to-end. -end. Devin made an interactive website which simulates the game of life. It incrementally adds features requested by the user and then deploys the app to Netlify. Some more things this AI can do, find and fix bugs and code bases, train and fine tune its own AI, address bugs and feature requests, contribute to mature repositories, and replace humans. Seriously, they gave Devin some real jobs on Upwork and it was able to complete those tasks. Devin outperforms GPT-4 and all other major AIs on the software engineering benchmark with 13.86% of issues performed correctly. Which brings me to my first point. The software engineering benchmark asks agents to resolve real world GitHub issues found in open source projects like Django. Even though 13.86% is a lot compared to other AIs, it's not nearly as good to replace humans. And my other point is Devon AI isn't anything new. It's no different from the other LLMs that we've gotten before. Maybe you want to test it out for yourself. To use it, you need to submit a request on Cognition's website. Once approved, you'll likely integrate Devon AI with your existing development workflow, provide Devon with clear instructions about the software you want to build, outlining its functionalities. Devon will take the reins, access resources, and independently write code for your project. Once complete, you can review Devon's generated code and make any necessary adjustments. With your final approval, Devon might even assist in deploying the finished software. So the burning question, will Devon AI replace programmers? No. Like I said, this isn't anything new. LLM have been able to perform coding in the past. They are able to perform simple tasks, but once you start feeding these AIs more difficult problems, it doesn't perform as well. The only way to use Devon effectively for an actual project that isn't just a demo is to be a developer. Sure. The AI will write your code and save you time, but don't you guys remember WordPress? The best developers are able to adapt. Instead of worrying about this tool replacing you, learn how to use it to make your work 10 times faster. Did we forget how self-driving cars were supposed to change the world? Well, we still have Ubers and taxi drivers. As Andre Kaparthi, the ex-director of AI at Tesla quotes, in my mind, automating software engineering will look similar to automating driving. Devon AI will only ever be as good as the person using it. So I'll end off here with a Paul Graham tweet. Even if AI were going to make human programmers obsolete, the best way to figure out how to adapt to its rise would be to learn to code because software is what AI is made of.